look at a star in the sky not as something unreachable, but as a planet you would visit one day. It all started from the cozy little apartment in the heart of Williamsburg, late November, blue and green flowers on the wallpaper, sunbeams shining through the windows, whistle of a kettle, quick run downstairs, breathing fresh and slightly cold air at the East River State Park. While Nika hops around the soccer field, pretending to be the best player out there. And then, finally, coffee. You can copy and paste it five times, because this was my morning routine every single day here. But the thing is, I didn't mind it at all. I loved it. Just like I loved everything that came after it. Walking around our neighborhood, finding new breakfast places, accidentally stumbling across used bookstores, going on thrifting adventures. Admiring each and every one of these buildings and endless street art. And then the L train. Just one yellow and blue metro card. Just one transfer. So I could see you. The city where you can't stay on the surface. You have to dive in. And that's exactly what we did. We went to all of the tourist destinations and my ears felt deaf, my feet felt destroyed, but my heart felt full. All these places I thought I would never see with my own eyes, and all these places I had no idea I dreamt to visit until I visited them. Looking back at all the photos and all the footage, it feels surreal to see myself smiling with the most genuine and happiest smile possible. When the streets would get too overwhelming, we would find temporary shelter behind the quiet walls of museums. And every beautiful painting or sculpture would tell us its own story, somehow filling the gaps in our already long and productive days. Like it was meant to be like it was all part of the giant patchwork blanket we were stitching together.
one time we even found a sanctuary and stillness in the middle of all the movement and craziness and it felt very special and it made us pay closer attention to the details all the intricate architecture we had a chance to see was unforgettable Even flowers and plants we would meet on our way looked interesting. We loved coming across old and small buildings and then be surrounded by mind-blowing skyscrapers. I remember I was so excited to see holiday decorations and of course I couldn't pass a holiday fair when I found one. <laughs> Wait, actually there were two and both of them were filled with creative people who were sharing something they loved doing with people who were looking for one-of-a-kind gifts for their loved ones. And it was crowded and it was loud but this pure joy was in the very air and I was gasping for it the whole time we were there. And there was a lot of window shopping. I believe that creativity never ends in this city and it is so inspiring. Everything inspires you. If it's not arts and crafts, it's words. I was finding them everywhere. Walls bathroom stalls, mirrors. I felt inspired to wake up every day and express myself in my favorite way by styling thrifted outfits, of course. I felt inspired to be a child again and ride a carousel and look through all adorable toys in K-Town and even go to the cafe full of soft and pretty kitties just to pet them and to play with them. Sometimes I felt inspired to be completely the opposite and it was very fun as well. On our last day we completely missed Thanksgiving parade and I felt devastated. But there were so many other things I wanted to do in this city, I felt inspired to get my act together and keep going. And because of that, 
I was able to finally visit places from my favorite TV shows. And again, it felt surreal. And even though I loved planning our days ahead, I always treasured serendipity in our trip, especially when it came to our meals. We would find cozy coffee shops when we needed some caffeine, and we would realize that a must-go food market is right nearby when we needed some bratwurst. It's amazing how many different cuisines you can meet here, even if you walk down just one street. My sweet tooth was obsessed with delicious macaroons, unique Korean desserts and more traditional cheesecakes. We even found a white Twix, just like the one we had back in Moscow before we got married and we were both in love with it. It still tastes incredible. And of course I had to satisfy my Italian food craving, because this is the best food ever. I found pizza with stracciatella and a place that sells panzerotti and I was so happy. I was so happy. I did purchase some items to remember this happiness, to look at them when I miss you. But the thing is, I don't need mementos to remember you, because you gave me so much more already, and it is carved in my mind forever. All the smiles, all these moments, I will never forget them and I hope I will be back soon to make more. I love you, New York, and thank you.